Hello everyone and welcome back. Today is going to be another convention vlog. This time it was, I'm going to combine two together because they're under the same bracket, which is the Unleashed conventions. Now the ones I normally go to are one of the Leeds ones, which are done all the way through the year and then twice a year they do one in York. So, excuse me, I've been to both and I really enjoy them. They're really good fun. I get to go and cosplay and yeah. I get to enjoy myself. So I've got a little bit of footage from both of the Young Age conventions. The first thing I'll do is Leeds and Leeds. Now this is at the Marriott Hotel and this is me, my mum and her partner went. It was very last minute so I didn't do any cosplays for this last year. So I'm just in like my normal everyday stuff. But we got to meet the lady who played Pautzan in Farscape. And she was absolutely a lovely lady. And we sat stood talking to her for ages and I got a photo with her. So I'll put that up here and I'll put a photo of me and my mum up there as well, just so you can see. And we walked around for a couple of hours, we had something to eat there as well, the food was really nice, a bit on the expensive side but still really good food. And then we walked around the shops, I spoke to some of the small businesses that were there, had a look at all their wares, it was really good and then there were talks going on and Q&As with the guests as well. There were other guests, but we didn't really interact with any others apart from this lady. And so we had to wander around, talk to people, bought a couple of little things as well. So I'll show you the bits and pieces of footage I got. It was really busy, so I didn't get that much, but I'll show you now what little bits of footage I did get. Well, just had a little wander around Leeds Unleashed. I will show you my outfit in a little bit, but Joker is from Primark. I got this at Collector of Mania a couple of years back, and this one I got in a mystery box, which is on my channel. I shall link it in little cards. And my earrings are from Spitalfield Market and Headband, I think it's again from Primark. And just had a little wander around with my mum, a little bit of a girl's afternoon and met Virginia Hay and um, met Virginia Hay at Oxford Design in Farscape Shop out of Mad Max Business Hour Coach and a few other bits and pieces had a little chat with her, she was absolutely lovely had a little wander around, bought a few little bits and pieces which I shall show you got a little bit of walk around footage but we arrived quite late because we just got delayed on the way in but it was a really nice little afternoon and now I'm about to go back to my mum's and uh, have a little bit of tea. But we ate while we were there as well. Yeah, I've got the biggest share in portion of Nashco's. In fact, I had to bring half back with me because it was way too much to eat in one go. But yeah, so I'll show you the little bits of footage that I did get and a picture of me and Virginia, which you can also find on my Instagram as well. And I will see you in a little bit. I'll show you in the middle. I can't wait to eat I'm 
myself up a little of something mystery bag and this one was from Silver and Goth now I've unboxed a couple of something from them before every time I go to uh, one of these on these conventions they're always there and at Horrorcon as well so I always make a point of buying a little something every time now because this was last year I have no idea what is in this so I thought let's have a little mystery unboxing at the same time because I didn't really get anything else that day, but it was my mum that got a few things and her partner. I didn't really get that much, but I did get this. So let's see what's in the bag. Now, they normally do these for £5 for the mystery bags, so I can't actually remember what I got. So let's have a look. So the first thing is in a little organza bag. It's a little white organza bag. It looks like it's a necklace of some sort. So let's have a look what we've got. I'll leave all Silver and Goth's details in the description box below so that you can go check them out for yourselves. They are a lovely, lovely brand. They're always so nice as well when you see them. So I highly recommend you go to see them. And this, it's a little microscope on the chain. Oh, that is absolutely adorable. It's only small, very lightweight, but it is on quite a long chain as well. So I'd say it'd be about the same length as this one, but that is really cute. I'm super happy with that one. And it even stands up on the base, like a proper microscope. That is pretty awesome. And like I said, there's their card there, silver and goth. And that's the back of the card, lovely card as well. I think I might keep that, but it's very pretty. So, what's next? Next is a pair of earrings and their little bones. How cute are those little stud earrings with little plastic backs? Really light, but little bones. I might have to wear those for work at some point because I really like those. And then, what's next? A sugar skull sticker that can go on somewhere where I will put my stickers but that is really nice as well really colourful which or I might even give that as a present to someone I don't know we'll see So that was the Leeds Unleashed part of the video. Now I shall go on to the York Unleashed part of the video. So I'll show, this is twice a year in February and in August at the York race course. Now this is huge and I would recommend to pre-order your tickets before you get there because it's huge, it's busy and there are queues if, but if you, to buy on the door, but if you buy in advance there's a few places you can buy them from and I would recommend doing that because you get to do a bit queue jump and it works out better for you. Now I didn't buy much from this one because um, we 
hadn't been there and we spent more time walking around and looking at stuff. We got bits and pieces for other people as well. But mainly we just walked around and looked at all the stalls, our work, talked to a few vendors and other bits and pieces like that. So I'll show you what I did pick up. I think there's only a couple of bits. So the first thing I picked up was by Siderian Illustration. I'll link them down below. And I got a couple of badges to add to my collection, which were very much, um, I got these right at the end of the day. And these sum, sum me up. One says, invisible illness. And the other says, chronic condition cutie. Now, I cannot imagine any more perfect for me badges out there, if I'm honest. I love these and I'm so happy I managed to sneak in and get them. Now, the other items I got were a sample of Stella the Zombie Killer part one by Alistair Wilkinson. You can get this on Amazon and I'm intrigued to have a read, another read of that because it's been that long that I've actually forgotten what it is so I'm looking forward to that now. It's uh, four, four pages so yeah I'll um, link him down below as well if you want to have a read for yourself. Now, the next thing I got from York Unleashed was this beautiful art print by Nicholas Spencer Illustration. Again, I'll put that down. Just as soon as I walked past this, it caught my eye with the scene in the background, the netting around the outside, the moth wings, just the idea of nature, the moths, the butterflies, bees. I just thought it was absolutely stunning, so I'm going to have to try and find somewhere to put that above my vanity area. Then the next two things, I honestly can't remember what I bought. One's another silver and goth item and the other I genuinely cannot remember. So let's open this one first. I've got a cute little person sticker with little flower rings around. It's a shame to break these but Fortunately, there's not much I can do about that. So, let's remind ourselves what this was. Now, it's from Daisy Flower Jewellery. Again, I'll link them below. And it's another badge. And this is a Totoro badge, one of my favourite Studio Ghibli characters. So that's one to add to my little collection. That is really adorable. And then lastly, we'll go for the next silver and goth mystery bag. So let's empty it out. Also not looking. So the first thing is obviously their business card. Next, it's a Frutella sweet. I like how they always put a little sweet, nibbly sweet in there. So that's a strawberry one, I think. So yeah, that's quite nice. And then it's, oh, I remember what this is. It's not a mystery bag. It's a pair of earrings that I wanted for work. And it is the, Cheshire Cat, completely forgotten I picked these up. And it's got the Cheshire Cat smile, it says, We're all mad here. Another pair of earrings I can wear to, maybe wear to work. We'll see if I can get away with them. But yeah, so that was my York Unleashed haul. I hope you've enjoyed having a look, quick look around these two conventions. Next time I'm able to go, obviously, this year conventions aren't happening. I will take you along with me, I will vlog it a bit better and I shall be doing it in cosplay this year, all being while my cosplay is finished. But that is also a video that's coming up, it's me remaking that cosplay. 
So thank you all for watching. Let me know if you go to either of any of the Unleashed conventions um, and subscribe if you want to see more convention related content because there is probably some more coming up. Hopefully some lost footage, some new footage when and if I actually get to go anywhere. So I'll see you in my next one. Don't forget like if you like this content, comment down below, subscribe and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!